PlayStation's revamped PS Plus has finally dropped, starting a new era in Sony gaming. Besides the wacky user experience and overly complicated subscription tiers, I've been enjoying the hell out of all the new and old games now at my disposal. Personally, I went through a sizable gap in my PlayStation ownership. I grew up with a PS1 and PS2, then skipped the next two consoles before getting my hands on a PS5. Now with PS Plus, I've suddenly got a huge backlog of PlayStation exclusives just begging to be played. Marvel Spider-Man, the Uncharted trilogy, the God of War trilogy, and literally hundreds more games I missed out on are simply sitting there waiting for me. Sony's service has also been great for rediscovering some classics of my childhood. Turns out Dark Cloud still holds up and is as fun as ever. Jack and Daxter is as good a platformer as any out there. You talking to me? Yeah, you talking to him? Star Wars Race Revenge is even more incredible than I remembered. Here's the thing though, if you've been a diehard Sony fan since PS1's release, this subscription may not be for you. The games are ready. Are you? With a somewhat thin catalog of older classics and nothing like Game Pass's vast assortment of day one releases, it's hard to justify subscribing to any of the three tiers for someone with a deep history of PlayStation ownership. Hopefully, Sony adds some additional incentives for their devoted fans. However, if you're someone like me, who has missed out on previous gens, PS Plus represents excellent value. I do have one more monumental critique for PS Plus though. Where is Twisted Metal? Put Twisted Metal on PS Plus. Do it, you cowards. I know you're hiding Sweet Tooth somewhere, Sony. Anyways, how are you feeling about PS Plus? Let us know in the comments below. And for more gaming coverage, check out Kotaku.com.